and today I am using my very first, uh, um, I'm actually using a camera to record. I normally do stop motion, but this time I'm doing, I'm using a camera because, well, I got a new camera, and now it has more storage, and it's better than my, a camera that I had before, but today I'm going to show you my custom Guardians of the Galaxy modified minifigure. I know many people have seen my um, Guardians of the Galaxy stop motion, and it wasn't that good. Well, things have changed a lot since then. It's been about a, a month or two since I made that. But, um, yeah, about two months. But things have changed a lot. Then, then I went to go see the movie one, the day after it came out. And then I went to Chicago to go get the Lego set. And, um, then, um, came back here. And it's, um, two days after we went to Chicago. So, it's about, yeah, two days. But, anyways, um, it's been two days. And, but over here I have the Milano. And there's my figure. And let's look at these. We'll start off with Rocket. Here I have my display thing from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Turtle Layer set. Here's Rocket. I used the Star Lord from the Milana Pose, um, torso piece and kept the arms on. Used brown short legs for his legs because I do have red legs, but they're not dark red legs. And I kept the tail and I used the rocket from Nowhere Escape Mission. And this is the, um, rocket near to the end of the movie in his red outfit. They have a San Diego Comic-Con one, but sadly I was not able to go. I go to the Comic-Con where I live. So there's not much to talk about about this figure. So next we have Star-Lord. I did not change really anything on him. You can watch other reviews to see the actual Star-Lord minifigure. This is the Star Lord from the Star Blaster Showdown. I didn't really change anything at all except for I gave him a cape. I thought something was missing. It was the cape. But I would have liked if they had made like a jacket piece for him. That would have been cool. But Lego doesn't really do that stuff. It's more of like mini mate that does that stuff. Here I have a mini mate Star Lord. And I also had laid out Star Wars helmet. And the orb. I think he was one of the least things I changed. Then we have Drax. I literally changed only one thing about him like I did with Star Lord. And that is his leg. This is the Star Lord that started out in the movie. But I don't know if this gives too much spoilers away. I don't think it does, but um at the beginning of the movie he had yellow pants on. And, but I just gave him his black pants. But, um, I would have liked a Jack that was like that. That's an easy one to do, though. But, with, um, next character that I have 
is Gamora. This one I would have liked a lot if they made a actual minifigure for Gamora, for Gamora like this. Because it's kind of hard to find something for her to make the minifigure. So that would have been cool. And then I just put green arms on a black torso and black hands on it. Black legs and then the same Gamora head and hair. Next, I have the Nova Corps officer. Like, um, MGF Customs suggested, um, to put blue legs on him. So I did. And this guy is the same head from the Star Blaster Showdown, which is the set that he comes with. And I also had his helmet over there. extra thing they have is group. I did not do I did absolutely nothing to group. He was perfect the way he was, but I wanted I would have liked a minifigure version of group also. Like in the Star Blaster showdown. No not the Star Blaster showdown, the um Milano. So, but I do have the mini mate group that's a little bigger than other mini figures, but he's still good. He's pretty good. So I might use him. Might use this group. It depends. But anyways, to wrap up this video. I really have nothing to do, so I do want to show you something that I got from Chicago. Can you tell what this is? By that, can you tell? Well, if not, does this help? It's the exosuit! Woo! 